Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. For all things mommy, wife, and life, my name is Chessa. In today's video, I'm going to take you through my pampering routine for when I need some ultimate self-care after a long week or even after a long day. This whole month of May, I collabed with Courtney Cole and Blondie Next Door here on YouTube on a self-care, self-love challenge. As an official wrap-up to our series, we wanted to do a pamper routine for you guys. So be sure and go check out their routines when you're done watching mine. They'll be linked down below. So my daughter and my husband are down for the night, so it's officially me time. First things first, I pour myself a glass of wine. Mama's had a long week and I need some wine. There is no shame in my game. <laughs> While I enjoy my wine, I'm going to get a massage by this magic massage tool that my sister got me for Christmas and catch up on my latest binge watching. You guys, this massager is life changing. You can get these at TJ Maxx or online for about 30 bucks. This one is by the Sharper Image and it's the shit. I highly recommend that you get one of these babies. My current show that I was watching on Netflix was called The Society and they, don't, they only had one season so I'm done with that and now The Handmaid's Tale is back on so I am into binge watching that at the moment. When my show is over I head upstairs for the rest of my pamper extravaganza. I started a bath and then I set the mood by lighting in some candles and then adding a bath bomb and some Epsom salts. Epsom salts really help my sore muscles after that deep tissue massage that I just gave myself. And these bath bombs I actually made myself. There is a kit at Michael's that you can buy and then make your own. So I just kind of went ham and made a ton of different bath bombs that I can just use for myself. And I love these. So I just recently turned 30 and I got this little spa kit for my birthday. And I thought tonight would be the perfect night to use it. It's a spa in a bag and there are face masks, a hair mask, hand, foot, under eye mask in there. Definitely not going to use all of them tonight, but I thought tonight would be a great night to use a few of them. Before I hop in the tub, I'm just going to run a brush through my hair and get out all the knots because I am going to do a hair mask tonight. So after I relax a little bit, it's time to wash my hair. The hair mask requires you to shampoo your hair before you put on the mask, so I'm just using the Herbal Essence Rose Hips Shampoo. So after you're done shampooing your hair, you want to towel dry it a little bit just so it's a little damp and not soaking wet. That way the conditioner will adhere a little bit better to the hair. And essentially all that is in this little pouch is conditioner, so I just kind of scraped it out with my hand a little bit and then just applied it to my hair, mostly the ends because I wanted to evenly coat it. Once your hair is evenly coated, then I just put my hair all back up in the cap and just tied it shut to let it simmer. So while my hair is conditioning, I thought I might as well do something for my face as well, so what better time to do a sheet mask? The one I chose has hyaluronic acid in it, which is really good for your skin and for anti-aging, I believe. These masks are a little terrifying, so don't be afraid if it gets a little Phantom of the Opera up in here. So now it's time for the rest of my body to get some love. I'm just going to do a quick sugar scrub. This one is by Tree Hut, and I really like this one. It smells amazing, and I'm just going to exfoliate the rest of my body. So after I'm done exfoliating, I'm just going to rinse out my hair and the rest off my body. And this next part actually might gross some people out because I know people hate feet, including myself, but this next part I think is really taken for granted on a lot of people. I like to give myself a foot massage, just really nice and relaxing because you spend so much time on your feet and I feel like we really take our feet for granted. So this part is so luxurious and nice for me and feels amazing. And now I just like to lock in the rest of the moisture on my body by just applying a really thick body butter. And my sister got me this one for Christmas, so I actually have no idea where it's from, but it smells amazing as well. So self-care isn't always glamorous, guys, but I gotta whiten my teeth. I'm using a charcoal one, and I know it's super creepy to watch me brush black stuff all over my teeth, but this really helps, and I have really sensitive teeth, so this is awesome. And then next, I just like to apply a little serum. I'm using the Juice Beauty one over my face, and I like to give my face a little massage as well, so I'll even whip out the jade roller sorry the this one is rose quartz but I like to just give myself a little massage it feels so good around your jawline and then I just like to bring it down my neck just for lymphatic drainage mm -hmm. 
So after I comb my hair, I just head downstairs and chug a glass of water. It's so important to chug water after you have massage just to release all of that lactic acid that's built up. And since you're dehydrated a little bit from the bath time and plus the wine, I wanted to make sure I drink some water before bed. And now when I wake up in the morning, I wanted to try these under eye patches. So I thought I'd include this in this routine just because it was the morning after. And that's everything for this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and that bell notification to be informed for all future videos. Don't forget to head over to Courtney and Blondie Next Door's channels and check out their videos. And I'll see you next time guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.